Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of It's About Everything. In today's episode, I am going to convert an APC UPS made for PC into an inverter. I am repurposing this UPS as the other person did not need it and was throwing it away. I found out the reason why it was being discarded and it was due to a relay that has gone bad for which it was not bypassing the mains electricity and was shutting down whenever it was connected to the mains. However, its inverter function and the battery charging functions are working fine and so I decided not to replace the relay which will save some money in this project and I am also not intended to use it as an UPS so it's fine. As you can see the PCB board is very clean as I have taken it apart off camera and thoroughly cleaned it with brush and blower and after that I have put it back so as to show you how it looks inside. You can see all the components and everything in the board and they are well made and this is a double sided PCB which means circuit layouts are on both the sides which makes repair jobs a bit tricky. After cleaning it I have put back together everything so that I can make a video of opening it up and so everything inside is very clean as you can see. It was very very nasty inside with all the dust and spider webs. It was clear that it was just lying on the corner for many days unused and the battery that it had inside is totally dead. So I have also taken it out. I was unable to revive the battery so will eventually give the battery to the recycler. The heaviest part in a UPS is the transformer beside the battery and this transformer is huge. Its capacity is 500 watt considering power factor 1. It was written in the front 500 VAR so I'm thinking it's 500 VA or watts depending on the power factor. So to get to the transformer I need to open the rear panel which has these American style sockets. Speaking of which I get to know another reason why this UPS was discarded because the Indian style plugs will not fit in. I'm assuming that this UPS is very old as this type of UPS are not found now these days. After opening up the rear panel I see it has lots of things that I can use such as the circuit breaker which appears fine and the wires with the crimped connectors but for now let's keep it aside and open up the transformer. So as you can see the transformer is held with 4 screws and upon loosening it up the transformer comes out. This is a huge transformer I mean you can compare its size with reference to my hand and if you have seen my previous video where I have fixed the transformer of Frontech UPS you can clearly see the size difference between the transformers. This transformer has more center taps than the Frontech one and this is a 12012 type in the primary side with the red, black and white wires which, which are the thick wires. The blue and the brown wires on the primary side are probably for charging which works in reverse when the transformer is used as a step down transformer to charge up the battery. The secondary is also center tapped with only three wires coming out. Probably this is the reason why the transformer is bigger in size. So let's move on. So I'm thinking of using it as an inverter for now and maybe in future I will make it a solar power wall or a solar generator. In either case I will use a box of some kind to enclose everything or mount it on the wall and so I'm going to use this plywood 18 inches by 8 inches and mount everything on it. It will be easier later to modify. I might keep it open for now so that the transformer, uh, sorry the transistors get some cooling. So the simplest way of doing it is screwing the PCB on the plywood along with the transformer side by side. Although the primary side's connector reaches the PCB perfectly. The secondary side connector are little short so I might need to cut the wires and extend them so, so that they reach the other side. I'm also going to use some sort of spacers between the PCB and the plywood so that the PCB doesn't touch the plywood. After taking some careful measurements I used my screwdriver style drill bit and made some shallow holes on the measurements for the screws. If you are wondering I got this drill bit with a CISS ink tank kit for an inkjet printer I have a video related to it if you would like to know. 
for making the spacers I'm using the rubber caps from the old battery that it had they are flexible soft and are good insulators placing the caps evenly underneath the PCB makes an even gap between the plywood and the PCB and then I screwed it into its place as you can see there is a decent amount of space underneath the PCB which is enough for ventilation and the board is also not touching the plywood after that I fitted the transformer in its place I used only two screws for the transformer as it seemed okay and I also had only two of these big screws I tilted the plywood baseboard to see if it holds and it does so I didn't bother about fixing more screws the ribbon cable looks a bit awkward as I screw the indicator lights and the switches on the plywood board but it will do the job for now we're almost done here and the only thing left is connecting everything together I will start with the primary connector of the transformer it's not that hard as all the colors on the wires are marked on the PCB and thus can be easily connected for extending the secondary wire I used 1.5 mm wire which is of the same gauge or thickness and joined it all the wires are yellow so I had to be careful not to reverse the connection but I think it won't matter as long as the center tap remains centered I plugged in the connector and it clicked right in after that I took the crimped connector wire from the rear output panel of the UPS case that we took out in the beginning of the video and connected it to the UPS output after connecting the battery terminal wires we are finished I'm going to use this battery to test the inverter this battery is also old and it has only one amp hour of capacity after I did a capacity test but can give out 60 amps for a few minutes which is okay for this test I'm going to use this 60 watt incandescent bulb for the test you can see the lights are blinking which means it's turned on now I'm going to connect the bulb to the output so it's glowing in full brightness and the UPS is supposed to make this noise after getting turned on so this was it guys this is how you convert a UPS into an inverter UPS are never meant to run for a longer period of time and that's why they don't have bigger heat sinks or fan so provide a good ventilation to the UPS and it will work as an inverter very easily fit it in a large box with fans and it will work even better so thanks a lot for watching guys hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe see you later